Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I was very surprised by the results of a survey of preppers that was recently conducted by Fortitude Ranch. The CEO of Fortitude Ranch, Drew Miller, says that preppers are folks who watch events and read up on threats, and so they have a really good feel for what is really going on out there. Today, millions of Americans are preparing for the collapse of society, because we really are facing very serious existential threats, which could cause the complex systems that we depend upon on a daily basis to fail at any time. So I was very interested to examine the results of this new survey, because it gives us some insight into what the prepping community is thinking right now. Only preppers were permitted to participate in the survey, and those that responded were asked to identify the three greatest threats to our society. More than 50% selected loss of electric grid as one of the greatest threats. I would not have guessed that this would be the number one response, but without a doubt, this is a potential danger that our politicians deliberately ignore. In fact, they have created a narrative about the sun becoming increasingly active, and it is said that it is just a matter of time before a solar storm does a tremendous amount of damage to the grid. And once the US is involved in a so-called nuclear war, we won't have a functioning grid at all. Economic collapse, bioengineered viruses, and domestic civil war due to divided country were all selected by more than 40% of respondents. Obviously, I was glad to see economic collapse so high on the list, because I talk about that so much. And I think that bioengineered viruses is something that preppers are very focused on right now because we have just been through the CV-19 panic. We are of course living in a time when pestilence will be heralded more and more frequently, so it is very important for all of us to be prepared for the policies that accompany it all. As for our country being divided, I really do think that 2024 is going to be the most chaotic election year that we have ever seen, and that is extremely unfortunate. More than 30% of respondents identified terrorist attacks as one of the greatest threats that we are facing. But no other response even reached the 20% threshold. The nuclear war arising from Chinese invasion of Taiwan barely squeaked over the 10% mark, and a nuclear war arising from Ukraine-Russia conflict was way under 10%. Hmm. If this had been a survey of the general population, I could understand such low numbers. Natural disasters also ranked very low in the survey. Maybe that is because the Yellowstone supervolcano was the only one that was specifically asked about. Personally, I would have added an eruption of Mount Rainier, a tsunami on the east coast, a tsunami on the west coast, a historic earthquake along the New Madrid Fault Zone, and the big one in California, as potential responses on the survey. We are far more vulnerable than most people realize, and I am entirely convinced that there will be unprecedented natural disasters in the United States during the years ahead, as our highly vulnerable land becomes increasingly unstable. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Another major threat that I would have liked to see asked about in this survey is the rapidly growing global food crisis. Last year, 2.4 billion people did not have enough food to eat, and 750 million of them experienced chronic hunger. And the numbers for this year will inevitably be even worse. In fact, the numbers have been getting steadily worse since 2015. But because we live in a very wealthy nation that still has lots of food, most Americans are not concerned about the global famine that has already started at all. I also noticed that large asteroid strike was just one notch from the bottom on the survey. 
Apparently this is something that most preppers are not concerned about at all. But they should be. It won't happen tomorrow, but eventually the entire world will become aware of a tremendous threat that is looming in the heavens, not a large asteroid strike, not aliens or UFOs, but another one. Needless to say, there is a lot of disagreement about what our greatest threats are, but just about everyone understands that something has gone seriously wrong with our society. And that explains why gun ownership in the US has surged to heights that we have never seen before in the entire modern history of our nation. According to a new NBC News national poll, a whopping 52% of US voters say they, or someone in their household, owns a gun. More than half of American voters, 52%, say they or someone in their household owns a gun, per the latest NBC News national poll. That's the highest share of voters who say that they or someone in their household owns a gun in the history of the NBC News poll, on a question dating back to 1999. In 2019, 46% of Americans said that they or someone in their household owned a gun, per an NBC News Wall Street Journal poll. And in February 2013, that share was 42%. Meanwhile, millions of Americans are stockpiling emergency food and other supplies. They can feel that great chaos is coming, even if they do not fully grasp all of the specifics of the very serious threats that we are now facing. If you have not been getting prepared for the collapse of society, I would very strongly encourage you to do so. What we have been through during the past few years is just the tip of the iceberg, and the clock is ticking. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.